Hey my peeps, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a Mother's Day. Um, I mean, it could be for Mother's Day or it could be for anything, but I'm going to start doing a couple of Mother's Day uh, fake bakes. And today we're going to make a cupcake uh, bouquet, right? So basically, I'm going to use this container that came from Dollar Tree, but there are plenty of other options you can use from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> At Easter time, I have picked up this um, cute basket, but my foam ball, which is a six inch foam ball, is too small for this. I will need like a, maybe a nine or a 10 inch to like fill it to the top, but you can also use this, which you can spray paint. And you have, you're going to cut this in half, and it's going to fit on top of that. They also have these smaller um, containers, but this foam ball is kind of too big for it. You will probably need like a four-inch ball. I'm just showing you the different options that they have for you at Dollar Tree, okay? Also found, got another option. I found this cute little container grown with love and i found hold on right i looked at this basketball is a foam basketball and i was thinking you know maybe i could use this so what i did was i cut it in half right down the line down the middle and it fits perfectly in here and you could do your cupcake. You can make many cupcakes if you want. Or you can just use, you know, less cupcakes. Three, four, maybe probably four or five cupcakes fit on that. We'll see. We're going to try it. And um, toothpicks fit easily in here. So you can uh, put your cupcakes. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. I kind of wanted to show y'all this one. But I already had started it. And then I realized I wasn't freaking filming but basically it's a half it's called cut this in half with my knife that i got from dollar tree that i keep in my craft stash put it on there and i put a um toilet paper roll in the middle put my foam ball on top and just put a little bit of glue around the edge to make sure that our foam ball is not coming out but i'm gonna do it with this one I'm going to put that basketball, uh, half of that basketball, just so we can see what we come up with here. And you just put that in there just for some security. Make sure it doesn't come down. And uh, I'm going to glue this one on here. Or should I glue this one? I like this side. And I'm just going to glue that. This is what I did. The same thing I'm doing here is the same thing I, I did on this one. Okay? Just because you want to give it some stability. And you might want to put some glue going around. I don't have my regular glue gun with me right now. Because I'm using it for something else. And I really hate this little glue gun. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do. And just put some glue around the edge to secure, you know, your ball. What is going on here? This is great. It's like the glue gun don't want to go in, don't want to go through. I don't know what's going on here. But anyways, you just keep on. Just put a piece of uh, 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 some glue around the edge. You just want to secure the ball. Because once you start putting your cupcakes on it, you don't want it to move. This freaking glue gun sucks, bro. I need to get me a new glue gun. I want a big glue gun. I only find these little ones. I thought I had a bigger glue gun. I went looking at my stash, and all I found is these little rinky-dink 
Anyways. <laughs> All right. So, um, oh, okay. Let me clean up some of this glue. It's like spilling all over the place. So the next thing you want to do, right? You want to make your cupcakes. And what are you going to use for your cupcakes? Pool noodle. You're going to cut it up into like one inch pieces. So what I did, right? I got a lot of stuff going on here. So what I did was like I cut one in one inch piece. And then I took my marker and I kind of measured, you know, like hit it like that. Then moved on, hit it like that. And then after I cut, uh, marked as many as I wanted, I got a knife. And this cuts pretty smoothly. And then you have your cupcake fillers, right? So I took this and then I glued it. into my cupcake liner because you got to hold it down a little bit because this foam is hard and it don't want to stick this and glue does it just doesn't make for a good combination so just hold it down a little bit and then you're going to get you're going to cut you a piece of extra foam and you're going to fill in that hole so like that when you put your fake um your fake icing and stuff it's not going to go through the cupcake see like that i just filled it up that's it and then you're going to take your glue and you're going to go around the around the inside of the cupcake and just push it down into it if you have like this is a cupcake um, um insert that i bought at a, a restaurant store but if you have an old muffin tin or something like that you can use it and it does the same thing and then once you once it dries out it's gonna look like this and you're gonna have a lightweight perfect cupcake and we're gonna um I'm gonna put this to the side because I don't need this right now and you are going to have um Perfect cupcakes. So what you're going to do, you're going to get your cupcakes, right? And you're just going to line them up. But you want them right now, I'm just sticking in a toothpick just to hold it in place. Because I want to see how many cupcakes I'm going to need. And where I'm going to place them. And things like that. Because it depends on what pot you use. Um, How many cupcakes you're going to need. So... You know, you might have to, um, and the toothpick goes right through this, um, foam, the, the pool noodle pretty easily. So you just want to figure out exactly. And then we're going to take them back down, but you just want to see how many, how many cupcakes you are going to need before you start doing anything. I don't know if I could fit. You got to space them out because I don't think I could fit. Let me see. If I move them really close to each other, how many I could fit. Because I feel like let's move these over a little bit. I think I could fit one more. So basically, you want to just, yep, I can fit one more right here. Now, let's see how many I can fit on the top. Let me grab some from over here. Try. 
I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. It's kind of tricky when you um get to the top. If I could, I want to see how many I could fit before I decorate them. Cause you're gonna de you're gonna frost them. Maybe I need to just try to move it down to this edge. You see this edge right here? Try to put it down to that edge. And we might make some more room. Let's see. Because this one is not really down to the edge either. Oops. So. Let me see. Is that one down to the edge? They, all, all the rest of them are pretty down to the edge. So. Let's see. I could fit anymore like it's not gonna let me I mean I could if I kind of just like stuff them in there you know but I don't think I could fit any other let me see if I could move this down a little bit like this and then try to fit that one in there Hold on, let's. This is like a puzzle. Alright, let's see. Of course, we're gonna hot glue these down and everything because we have to. Because, oh, that toothpick broke. I don't know if I could fit all of those in there, so I'm just gonna go with two. And then that's it. Maybe if I had some like mini ones, I could probably do a better fit, you know, fit them in there better. But I don't have minis. I just have the regular size. And that's it. Come on, we're gonna put, we're gonna stick hot we're gonna put hot glue on this. But anyway, this is how it's gonna look. Right? I just wanna see how many I need. And then we're going to take them and you are going to, let's see how many we can fit on here. Let's see. I'm going to start with the top because that's where we seem to be having a little bit of trouble. Hold on, let me get, I think I could probably only fit like four, four of those in here. Hold on, let me, let's see. This is just a temporary thing. We are going to come back and glue, glue these down. Yeah, we could put one, two, three, six. Okay. Boom. So, you can fit six cupcakes. You know, you can readjust them so that they all fit nicely. But look, with the little Grown With Love and half of a basketball, you can do a six, right? Two, four. Yep, six cupcake bouquet. Right? So, now we, I'm going to take them down. You can leave the two pit, two pit, toothpicks right where they are. So that way you know where your cupcake gotta go. Because when you come back, the next step is you're gonna hot glue it. And um, that's fine. So I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna get my, I already made um, 
um, fake icing. And I'm going to... Now, the thing about this, once you... Uh, matter of fact, I don't even want to put them in there. I want to put them on here because when I have to grab them, I don't want to mess it up. But still, you got to let them dry completely. Anyways, before you put your um, before you put them back on there, so you gotta let them dry completely. Just take them down, leave your toothpicks in place. That'll make it easier for you to come back and just well, <laughs> that one didn't want to stay in there. It makes it easier for you to come back and just pop your cupcake. Come on, on there. So I'm putting mines down because I need to let these dry completely. I'm going to move this out the way. Now we're going to get us a piping bag. And we are just going to put our little swirl, our flower. I'm going to use, let's see what I got here. I will be using tip. What is this? Can't even see what it what. I don't watch the name of. This is a one M tip. That's what I'm going to use. You could use a two D or any big tip that you have. Got my bag right here. Gonna prepare it. already had a had it cut because I used it I have put a bag inside of here so I didn't need this bag and then we're just gonna get us some spackle and get to swirling now once I make the swirl on here I'm going to let this dry completely, and I'm going to come back once the swirls are dry, because if you don't let them get dry, um, you gonna might smash one, one might fall, and then it's going to get messed up. So, we do not want that, because we want our little... And then I'm going to show you what we're going to use for the leaves. Um, and then your little cupcake bouquet is going to be ready to go. So I'm going to start over here. Line these up. Because I'm going to do assembly line style. All right. I don't really like the way that wrapper look so I'm gonna have to do that wrapper over but for the most part I'm going to just so basically I'm gonna start my swirl in the middle and I'm gonna come all the way around to the edge because I want it to look like a flower or rose okay and that's what I'm gonna do with all of them I'm not gonna do different colors <clears throat> you can if you want to but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick with one color. And just. Go with that. Just make sure you get all the way to the edge. So we won't see any of the foam. Underneath. And you'll be ready. To go. They're not all going to look the same, and that's fine because flowers, they don't all look identical to one another. You could put, um, if you want to make some leaves, you could do that, but I'm going to use something else for the leaves to give it the illusion. I mean, it's not going to look like real leaves, but... That's how <clears throat> real um, 
cupcake bouquets are made. That's what they use for the real cupcakes. It's, it's actually tissue paper. So I'm going to use tissue paper too. So basically, you're going to finish all of your flowers and you're going to let this, like I said, you're going to let this dry completely. Because when you put it in on your um your cupcake bouquet, it has to be 100% dry or it will get messed up. So, I'm going to let this dry. And once they are dry... I will come back and we're going to continue the next step. Okay? The cupcakes are fully dried, which is what I needed them to be so I won't mess them up. But while these were drying, I'm going to put these to the side. I um painted the ball green. This is just regular green colors, not anything special. Because... um. I, the tissue paper that I'm going to put on here is green. So, I need it to match in case, like, some of the paper is not co covering certain areas. Um, it won't be so bad. So, I got this paper. I didn't find this paper at, um, you know, during the holidays. When you see the green and red paper on sale. And you'd be like, mm, maybe I should get some of that. But then you don't. <laughs> and then you end up needing some green paper. Anyways, I got this paper from Hobby Lobby. It was like 99 cents for a pack of eight sheets. And that's fine. I'm just going to cut these lines like this. You just want to make sure you have enough tissue paper to cover in between and then I'm gonna cut them cut them into smaller pieces but let's just do this just to make our lives easier and not try to reinvent the wheel or what's already here which is not necessary it doesn't have to be cut perfectly I mean then I'm gonna cut them down to nice size pieces Like I said, you don't want to cut, I, I kind of cut the uh, first ones I did a little too small. And I'm like, yeah, that's not going to work. So I'm going to just take them, put them all together. And basically, I'm just going to cut them in half. And cut these in half. Well, let me fold them so I can get a fold mark. And then I'm going to cut those in half. And that side should be good. Like I said, the other ones I cut too small. And, and then I had to stuff them too much. And I really not remove that. So I think I cut too much, but... Yeah, I'll make another one, right? But first, you got to put your cupcakes on. So I'm going to bring this over here. Got my glue gun ready. And I'm going to bring my cupcakes over. These cupcakes are very lightweight. I mean, it's just a pool noodle, right? The lightweight spackle. And that's it. It is, you know, it's not that heavy. I want to make sure I, um... So you want to make sure, like, that your cupcake kind of touches on this. When you put it on there. Kind of let that be your guide. You know, like, touching on here. See, it's like right there. And you want to glue your cupcake on. What's up with this cupcake? Maybe I'm hitting it. Right? Just get your glue gun. Put enough glue so that it 
sticks. You're going to have to hold it for a minute because remember, this is styrofoam against styrofoam. And that's why you want the cupcakes to be fully dry. So if you have to press on them like how I'm doing right now, it, it, it won't matter. They're not going to get messed up or anything like that. But you're going to have to hold it there for a second. So they won't come up. Because they're going to want to come up. And just hold it. Alright, I think that's good. So you might have to move your um, toothpicks around. Because you want to make sure your cupcakes are even. Evenly spaced, you know. And let me see how this one is going to fit on right here. Yep, I'm going to go for it. I really miss my glue gun. Got to deal with this little rinky dink little glue gun. Try to face your cupcakes up. Go. You got another cupcake down, and you're gonna get you another cupcake. And you're just gonna keep adding them until you fill it up. Just try to make sure you hit it, hit it up against that, um, which I didn't do. The bottom of. Of the cup of the cupcake of the <coughs> of the planter of the flower pot. Ugh. Just hold it there for a minute. Make sure it's ready. It ain't moving nowhere. Good to go. Put another glue stick in here. Oy. Hope everyone's been doing well. And it's finally starting to get warm wherever you are. It's taking a long time to get warm out here, let me tell you. One day is 80 degrees, the next day is like 30 degrees. I'm like, I'm over it. You know what? I'm just happy it's not snowing or ice. So I'm going to just be quiet and thank God for the good weather. Right? It's gotta, some, some of these you got to hold them down because they... Styrofoam is fighting with this um, with this hot glue. Try to stick this one in here. Might have to move that one because I don't know if it's gonna fit. Okay, it does. You just have to squish it down. Okay. Got a little stressed out there. Even though I measured it, but you know how it is. Let's hold it down. Has anybody ever made one of these? Like a real one? I never made one. Always wanted to, but I never did. I, find, I think the fake, fake bake ones are easier. Because <laughs> you don't have to worry about them. Like if they fall off or whatever, you could just pick it up 
and stick it back on. Like the real ones, if it falls off, you, your icing is going to be jacked up. And your cupcake might break or whatever, you know, like fall apart and then it's not going to be good. And you ain't going to be able to put your, your hands on no icing like this to hold it down while it, you no, know, nah. I think that's why I never tried like a real one. I was too afraid I would mess it up. But some of um, these cupcake bouquets that they make, ooh, so beautiful. All right, we got one more. And then it's time to put the tissue paper on. Okay. Got to hold this one down. It was pretty tight. So how many cupcakes? We got three, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cupcakes in here, which was pretty snug. Pretty snug in here. And if I would have made some minis, I could have stuck some in there and like in the side, but I didn't make any minis. But I saw that Dollar Tree had some some new styrofoam and it's like a mini um a stick, a styrofoam stick. I was like, what? So, anyways, let's go on. Move on to let me put another glue stick in here. This is how I'm gonna put the tissue in there. You're just going to take it, you're going to want to pinch it at the bottom and just hold it like this. And you're going to twist it just a little tiny bit at the, at the bottom. Like that. Right? So then I'm going to take a little bit of glue, um, hot glue, put it at the bottom and just try to start sticking it in there. And if you need to push it in there, just use like a like a um, paintbrush or something to hold the tissue paper in there like that. The tissue paper doesn't have to be perfect and you can always come back and fix it or add more tissue paper if you need it. So don't worry about that. And basically that's what you're going to do. You're going to just go around the whole thing. Fill it up with tissue paper. I already finished one. The one that, you know, the one we I showed y'all with the little basketball. I finished that one. And I'm going to show y'all in a minute. I'm going to just do a couple more of these. You know what? Basically, let's just take... This is probably easier. Take your finger. Do like that. Take the paper. Stuff it in there. And grab it. And just hold it. Put some hot glue at the bottom and put it everywhere you need for it. Anyway, this glue gonna get really gets on my nerves. And just take your paper, I mean your um paintbrush. You can always adjust the paper once the glue is is set, and you're just gonna add paper all the way around. Take your in your finger make a make a round circle and stuff the paper in there just twist a little at the bottom just so the paper won't come you know unattached not unattached but the shape of it won't get lost and you just go in there and you push your paper in there And you can fix the paper after it dries. Don't mess with it while it's wet. Because then it's going to get messed up. Again, just stuff it in there. Grab it up. Twist a little bit. Get your hot glue. And just put some at the end. And come over here. And get your... Um, Whatever pointy tool you have. It don't have to be a paintbrush. It could just be a skewer or whatever. 
you just stick your paper in there, right? And you're going to do that going all the way around. And when you finish, you're going to have something like this. Look how cute this one came out. See how cute that came out? I put a ribbon on it. I know, don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. Actually put a ribbon on it. Made a bow. But it came out so cute. I also added a little bit of accent. Like I put took a little bit of gold paint and just touched the edge of the roses. But yeah. So. Think we can finish this? Let's see. I don't want to take up too much time. But you guys see what I'm doing. And you just fill it up. Keep on going and fill it up. And you're going to have a cute cupcake bouquet. You can give your mama or your girlfriend or nice friend. or You can make this for any occasion, not just for Mother's Day. Just for any occasion is fine. Birthday for your friend. Anything. Put one in there. You got to fill up. You just got to look around. And fill up all the holes. That's it. If you have an easier way of doing this part right here. And you do that. This is what worked for me. And that's why I'm using this. Because, I mean, you could put real leaves if you want to. But I just didn't want to spend so much money on leaves. Because it's not, you know, $1.25 for each little flower. And it's just not worth it sometimes. So I just bought a pack of tissue paper. And we I went that route because it's cheaper. It's economical. Everything here is from Dollar Tree. The flower, I mean, the um, cupcake is just a pool noodle. Covered in, um, what I'm going to say, covered in, um, lightweight spackle. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm rushing. I'm not really taking my time, but if you take your, you take your time. I'm just rushing because I'm on the video, but you take your time and you do this nicely. Like how I did that other one and it's going to come out fabulous. Whoever gets it, or if you display it in your own kitchen, it's going to look very nice. Okay? See that? And then I made a ribbon to go around it. Girls, I made a ribbon. Uh, Pre-made the ribbon, because if I try to make it while I'm here with you guys, it'll be a disaster as usual so let me show you my ribbon basically it's going to go up at the top like this if i could get it to the top <laughs> that's why i said that's why i'm glad i didn't do it while you guys was on see that well it's supposed to go up a little higher but i'm being i'm rushing and look Well, and when you see the picture, it'll look much better. But anyway, guys, once you do all of that, you're going to get this very pretty. So you can make it small size or the large size. Totally depends on what supplies you can find at Dollar Tree. Um, Like I said, all you need is a pool noodle to make the cupcake, some lightweight spackle, some tissue paper, which you might find at Dollar Tree. I didn't find... I only went to one Dollar Tree. Um, green tissue paper, a container, and inside what's holding the cupcakes is half of a foam basketball. You know, the kind you find in the kids' section. And boom, you have this nice, pretty cupcake bouquet. I really like the way this came out. Uh, I didn't, I'm not going to give this one away. I'm going to actually keep it. You believe that? Because I think it's so cute. 
so make sure you cover the edges like I did so you don't see any of the foam ball on the inside or anything like that and if you wanted to you could put a little like one of those um picture uh you know those placeholder things that you could put a card like you know how it comes with the little thing what is it what is it called a little note holder you could put one of those and give it to your mom or your friend or whoever you want all right guys so uh before i go i got a little bit of um fun mail i want to share with you guys from greta lynch thank you greta so she got me some remember i showed y'all the um the little hot wheels cars well she sent me a couple of these look this is the donut it's so cute and look a taco ha <laughs> That one is hilarious. And then she sent me another a cupcake because I didn't find it at first. And then I found one, which I was excited about. But I'm so happy about that. So I got a little collection going on. And then she sent me this. Now, y'all know I be talking about gnomes and how they everywhere. And you never get rid of them and whatever. But look at this one. She painted it. She repainted it. The one from the Dollar Tree. And she put peeps on it. For me. I'm going to display it right here. On my desk. It's, isn't that cute? Look at the little peeps. Oh my goodness. Those are too cute. I love it. I'm going to put it right here. I'll find somewhere to put it. So you guys can see it whenever y'all come on. And uh, admire my little note. Like I said, I'm not crazy about no, but I love this one. Thank you, Greta. So, guys, go out and make yourself one of these. It's pretty cheap. And um, it's cute. It's very lightweight. And whoever you make it for is going to love it because it's just so cute. So, I know uh, another thing. I know some of you guys... I've been messaging me and asking me about if you can make donations or whatever. But something special happened. YouTube finally gave me a thanks button. Which you can see right under the video. Which means if you wanted to, you can make a donation to my page. So to help me with keep crafting and making fake bakes or whatever DIY creations we make. That's totally up to you. But I was excited when YouTube finally gave me my thanks button. Um, it took a while to get that. And um, I was just excited about it. So I just want to let you guys know. And again, please share my video. Like, comment. That helps me with YouTube's analytics. And it helps me, my channel, grow. And so that other people can see it. If you comment or if you like it, it really helps my channel and i'm still trying to get to 10,000 um followers so i really would love your help so until the next video stay safe stay healthy keep crafting and i will talk to you guys soon god bless you goodbye